Hey guys, I'm Ready Game Morning. Mean, today we're doing something like if y'all have ever heard of the YouTuber Doc Kes Buffet. This is like his little journalist cup series where he pushes the car around the track. Well, basically, that's what we're doing today. We're gonna make the, try to make this a series. So I got 32 car field. Tried to incorporate most of my cars. Um, this planner though, I tried not to include customs. There's one custom that I'm including and one custom only. So yeah. Anyways, uh, I think I'm just gonna get started, guys. Uh, so 32 car field, Daytona 500. How it's gonna work is you push the car uh, across the track and wherever that car lands, like first, second, third, fourth. Um, so since it's Daytona, they're all gonna be smushed up together, depending, or no matter where it is. If another car hits another one, that's DNF. Uh, yada yada yada. <laughs> um, if somebody gets to the back bumper, they'll go in front of them. Even if they're like to their inside, fully haven't passed them. So, anyways, I'm just gonna get started. So, starting on the pole for the race is Ryan Blaney. So, let's get started. Uh, oh, the cars have to go around once for it to count as a. Even if they wreck, they get to go again. So, here we go. Three, two, one. That was a terrible push, but Ryan Blaney is gonna be your leader at the start of the race. He'll go right there. Next up, qualifying second is Ryan Newman. Let's see what he can do. And it was another bad push from me. That's okay. Didn't even go around full time. Next up, number three, Dow Car of Austin Dillon. We're trying to make this a better push. There we go. That was better. Oh, he kind of just came off the track for me. Okay. Uh, oh, wait. I did it wrong. Already. Gosh darn it. Okay. Uh, I can just fix him, though. Newman goes there. Dillon goes there. All right. Next up is in the number 42 Mc delivery McDonald's car. Ross Chastain, let's see what he can do. Oh, when he wrecked, but he didn't go around once, so he is still in it. And that was a better push, and new leader is Ross Chastain in the 42. Let me put him in his spot real fast. All right, next up, and the number 88, since I do not have a five car, is going to be, um, well, I do have a five car, but it's like a car from 2005 so next up in the 88 is going to be um i just had a brain fart um kyle larson because i don't have a five car um looks like a gen gen six so anyways here we go three two oh gosh darn it okay three two one and kyle larson new leader passes his former number ah Ross Chastain in the 42 now, but anyways, next up, number two, discount tire car of Brad Keselowski, big bad Brad. Oh, and he flipped, did not go full lap, I need to actually push that back, just start to move around a lot. Oh, Keselowski's dead, let me redo that, where'd he go? Keselowski has just disappeared, okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, redo it, oh, sorry, a two, one. And big Brad Brad into the lead here at Daytona. Um, a lot of lead change. Next up in the 43 door dash is Eric Jones. Uh, so here we go. And Eric Jones is in the lead now. Is it just, it might be because the track is moving. I don't know. Um, I thought if it was up against the wall. Hold on, let me fix this. It's getting a little stupid. But I thought since it'd be up against the wall, it wouldn't move as much, but I was wrong. <laughs> Next up, and number four, four bush light car with the flame. This car is amazing. It's Kevin Harvick. Oh. Flip didn't go a lap, though. All right, so. Oh, my gosh. Harvick is dead. Um, did not go a lap again. Harvick, this might be a little difficult for us. Okay, Harvick has decided to be difficult. If, if he's not going to go around one time, we might have to uh, change cars for Harvick. Harvick, can you stop doing that, please? <laughs> and thank you. Um, Harvick, oh my gosh, Kevin Harvick does not, I might have to just put Harvick back further. And give him, uh, Harvick, can you run on the track, please? I'm starting to get annoyed. You might just have to put Harvick on the straight here. Um, if he's not gonna. He can go his lap, even though we put him on the straight. He's only going to get past Blaney and Newman. Um, so we kind of give him an unfair advantage, and he didn't really take the lead. Next up, we got the number 48 of Alex Bowman. And Bowman, new leader. He's going to go right 
in front of Eric Jones, though, because it is Daytona. Um, next up, we have the number two pencil card of Joey Logano. So he can all Logano's dead. I'm going to accidentally like, put a dent in the wall by the end of this video. Um, oh, maybe this is why, because this isn't, like, connected. <laughs> I heard that. Oh, my gosh. This track is being a little dumb, guys. Sorry. I am pushing that hard. I'm, he's got every last place. I don't care. <laughs> it's pretty difficult enough. Next up in the 21, we have Matt Benedetto. Oh, and Benedetto flips. He's dead. So only the top 10 drivers get points. It's a one stage race. Oh my gosh. Didn't go a lap yet, so he's still in it. Urgh. I'm going to damage my cars. I need to stop. Man, I ain't pushing that hard. Uh, he's gonna get past Newman and Logano. So, I'm push the track that way just a little bit. All right, he gets past Newman and Logano. Next up, we have the number 20 crafts in the car. We have Christopher Bell. Let's see what he can do. And Christopher Bell, oh, can't quite make it to the lead. He'll make it up to third, though. That was a big plow from. Christopher Bell to go to the lead. Alex Bowman is still your leader at Daytona. Next up, we have the number seven go to Eddie Carr. Corey LaJoy don't have one of his cars yet. Um, since he's in the seven, so it's still Danica's pa Danica Patrick's car. And Patrick flips uh, before she got to the line to redo. Or I said Patrick, I meant LaJoy. LaJoy flips again. LaJoy, come on. We can't, we don't make this difficult on me. Corey LaJoy, good run, and he comes down into Blaney. I don't know if I should count that as a wreck, though. I think I might count that as a wreck. Uh, so we'll take this back half of the field out of the race. Uh, so they are going to be done. I'm just going to throw them over here for now. So these guys are all out of the race, including Corey LaJoy. Um, so that is one, two, three, four, five, a five car wreck. But next up, we have the 18 M&M's car. It's a 2021 car, by the way. Uh, of Kyle Busch. I think it's like my only 2021 car this, so far this year. Um, so here we go. Flipped it before he got to the line. Uh, oh no, I don't want to be doing that with my new cars. Um, are you kidding me? Track, don't be stupid, please. Nope, did not make it a lap. I should have been pushing him off the trace. And Kyle Busch with a good run. I need to fix the track. Oh my gosh, stop falling apart though. He's gonna get past the 88 of Kyle Larson. Um, and right behind Brad Keselowski, that'll put him in P5 here. Um, and next up we have the number 54 KBM car, Rowdy Energy, of John Hunter Niemenschek. Yes, it's a custom car. Uh, Alright, let's see what Neiman Check can do. Oh, are you kidding me? We're going to have to do what we're going to do. Alright, Neiman Check. Neiman Check gets into second, I believe. Yeah. Second place for John Hunter Neiman Check in his first race. So this is completely unscripted. That's going to make the winners exciting um, on the year. Next up, we have the number 95 of Bubble Walls. Don't have a 23 car. I do know they have 23 cars, though. And that 23 XI is the affiliate for JGR. So in the 95 Pro Court is going to be Bubble Wallace until I can get a number 23. I know they've made one. Uh, I think they've only made one, though. I'll try to get one, guys. So here we go. And that is going to be past the 43 of Eric Jones for Bubba Wallace. He's going to make a good run there. Up into P4. Next up, we have the number 19. Bass Pro Shop Toyota Camry of Martin Truex Jr. Truex Plat. Oh, and it's that was terrible. He does get past the three of Austin Dillon, who is not having a good run. Harvick, has he ever really been good at Daytona? He's got a Daytona run victory. I feel like in the recent years, though, he hasn't been his best. Um, his last place that's actually running on the track. Last place is actually, who is it? Is it Blaney or is it? Who is that? I don't know. Next up, we have the number 14 peak car of um, Chase Briscoe. Here we go. Almost said Clint Barry. He flips. Did not cross.
across the line now, start finish. Flipped again. Start finish is going to be right here, guys. So if they cross there and then flip, it is a wreck. Oh my gosh, Briscoe is dead. Uh, it's going to be another one of these. Okay, he finally made it. It's going to be past the 88 of Kyle Larson. Uh, all right, next up we have the number 40 car up. Uh, who, I haven't even decided who I'm going to put in the 40. Um, Justin Haley, sure. <laughs> Justin Haley is going to be in the 40. Um, number 40 McDonald's car. Let's go. Oh, he flips. Um, all right, come on, Justin Haley, do something. Um, oh, wow, Haley with an amazing run. He'll get past the 95 of Bubba Wallace until I get a number 23 once again. Um, that was a good run for him. Let me line them all up. Okay. Next up, we have the number 78 Bash Pro Shops card of Landon Castle. Let's see what he can do. Um, Landon Castle with an amazing run. New leader at Daytona. It's Landon Castle in the 78. What a shot for him. Next up, we have the number 41 Haas automate or Haas tooling car of um, uh, Cole Custer. Had a brain car there. Custer flips. Oh, and he actually gets it back going, but he did flip. Dolly oh, flips again. Come on, Custer. You can do it. Nope. Stop. Flipping Custer. Have a lot of DNF. Uh, and, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Let me fix the track real fast. Put these guys up on the um, apron area. Alright. Here we go. Oh, yeah, that's backwards. We don't want a car going backwards. Are you kidding me? Physics. We on our side. Yes! Physics runner side, new leader at Daytona. It's Cole Kester in the number 41 uh, Haas pooling card. And is he the first Stuart Haas card to take the lead? I believe he is in this one. All right, next up we have the number 17, fifth third red card of Chris Busher. Uh, let's see what he can do. Oh, when he flips. And the track is being wonky again. All right, here, let's redo this. Even work okay. I love how we have Harvick an advantage, and he's actually the car at the back because Harvick didn't want to go, he was just kept flying off the track. Are you kidding me? Of course, the one that works. Stop flipping. I might just have to give him a DNF if he wants to keep flipping. These stupid Fords don't want to work. The Fords are like, no. Oh my gosh. I hate the Fords right now. I hate all the Fords. Oh, Busher's dead. I, this isn't working. I might have to give Busher the unfair advantage to it. There we go, finally. And he is going to plow up to third, getting past the 48 of Alex Bowman. Oh, no. I messed up. Hold on. Let's, uh, let's set these guys back up. Um, I'll, I'll try to do better for episode two, of, or, or for race two of this thing. My heart has been terrible. Next up, we have the number nine Mountain Dew Zero Sugar car of Chase Elliott. Love this car, by the way. Um, all right, here we go. And he flips. I can't redo it for Chase Elliott. Okay, come on, Chase Elliott. Oh, Chase Elliott's dead. <laughs> um, oh, my gosh. Chase, Chase, Chase. Chase, you're making me mess the whole field up. I guess the, the Chevys don't want to work either. The Chevys are not in our favor, too. There we go, Chase. And he'll get past the 18 of Kyle Busch. Um, I don't know what position he's in. Next up, we have the 47 Kroger car. Oh, there he is. Dan Howes Jr. Oh, Ricky's dead. Ricky Rickhouse is dead. Of course, he just dies on his... First attempt. Oh, Ricky's dead again. I'm putting dents in the walls. I gotta be careful. All right, there we go. Ricky! Wow! He's gonna get past the 17 here. Okay, I'm gonna probably mess up the field and try to do this. Do I care? No, I do. Um, look at Landon Castle, though. He's running well. 
So our first leader in this one, Ryan Blaney, uh, is out of the race. Let me quickly line these guys up real fast because I'm being very messy today. Um, all right. Ooh, okay. And the number a 32 Keen Auto Parts car, or Keen Parts car, not Auto Parts, is no Gregson. So let's see what he can do. Oh, he's dead! Ah, <laughs> uh, that did not go well. All right, here we go. Let's try this again. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh, are you kidding? The stupid Fords. These stupid Fords. Are you kidding me? All the Fords have to be stupid. Oh my gosh. Can you just, physics, can you work? That was terrible. But, he'll be able to get past the nine of Chase Elliott. For a decent run after dying a few times. It's okay, though. <laughs> um, oh, go forward, please. All right. Next up, who we have? We have number 11 sports clips throwback for Denny Hamlin. It's the only one where the, all four wheels work. So, hopefully, if we can keep these intact. I would use the FedEx, but the wheels are a little weird on them. But. Here we go. Denny Hamlin, he's going to have a good run up past the 40 of Justin Haley. That driver might change in there because um, I'm weird. Uh, next up, we have a number eight cat car of, no, caterpillar car of Tyler Reddick. Oh, wow, good run for him. He's past Bubba Wallace in the 95. Once again, because I did not have a 23 car yet. <laughs> but yeah, all right, fix the field. Next up, we have a number 10 Smithfield car of Eric Almarola. See what he can do. Oh, and Almarola's dead. <laughs> Redo that. Hopefully, the, the track will look better for the race, too. But... Are you kidding me? The stupid Fords keep wanting to do that. Are you kidding? The Fords just don't want to cooperate today. Oh, he, he flipped anyway that time. But, once again, the Fords not cooperating in this. Oh, the Fords are going to be like this a lot, I feel. Um, and it's only the Fords, too. So. Oh, and he kept it straight. I mean, I'm going to count that. He gets past 20, Christopher Bell, in the Craftsman cart. Um, let me fix the field real fast. Oh, my gosh. This is just, just, this is just pain. It's just pain, I tell you. Cole Custer still in the lead, though, looking to win the day down 500. Next up, we have the number 34 Caleb Carr of Mike McDowell, your 2021 day kind of 500 champion. And he might do it in fictional land, too. Day, or Michael McDowell is in the lead at Daytona with only three cars left. Next up, it's the number one gear wrench car of Kurt Busch. What can Kurt do? Oh, and Kurt's dead! Um, let's redo that. Oh, Kurt's dead again. <laughs> Maybe the Chevys uh, won't ruin the end of this one. Kurt, we need you to please, please say, stay straight. There we go, Kurt Bush. Oh, he was having a good run. And then it looks like he messed up a little bit. He's going to get past the eight of Tyler Reddick. Let's keep pushing them back. And uh, Kurt Bush. I thought Bush might, or Kurt was about to take the lead and then he messed up uh, in the tri -oval. Or I think it was actually more like turn four on the front stretch. And then he slowed down and now Michael McDowell's in a better spot. Next up we have Michael McDowell's teammate in the 38, Anthony Alfredo. What can Alfredo do? I don't know. Oh, and he takes Harvick out while flipping. I will count it if they hit another driver on the first lap or before their first lap. I will be counting that, <laughs> and uh, so uh, he, Alfredo ends up taking out Kevin Harvick, and uh, that is no bueno for Anthony Alfredo. Next up, and our last driver, the number 24 Liberty University car of oh, William Byron. Here we go. Will Michael McDowell be the Daytona 500 champion, or can Byron step in? William Byron! Real-life Daytona 500 champion, but he is your season one push it. I don't know what I'm gonna call it yet. I might just put some random sponsor in the title. Day or Michael McDowell wins the Daytona 500.
500, your finishing order um, is going to be Michael McDowell first, Cole Custer second, Landon Castle third, Ricky Stanhouse Jr. fourth, um, Chris Buescher fifth, running out of top five, William Byron sixth, um, Alex Bowman seventh, John Hiram Nemechek eighth, Denny Hamlin ninth, and running out the top ten. And rounding out your points in race number one will be Justin Haley in the 40. So he'll earn the 40 Carson points. Well, that is going to switch drivers, though, throughout the season. Haley will be in some of the races, and maybe some other guy will be in the other. Um, 11th, Kurt Busch. Uh, um, t uh, 12th, Tyler Reddick. 13th, Bubba Wallace. 14th. Excuse me. 14th, <laughs> Eric Jones. 15th, uh, Eric Almarola. 16th, uh, Christopher Bell. 17th, Brad Kozlowski. 18th. Um, Noah Gregson, 19th, Chase Elliott, and running out the top 20 is Kyle Busch. Um, 21st is going to be, uh, Chase Briscoe, 22nd, uh, is, uh, blah, blah, blah. um, 20, 22nd, I can't speak, is Kyle Larson, 23rd is Ross Chastain, 24th is, um, Martin Truex Jr., and 25th is Austin Dillon, and all your DNFs are going to be Ryan Blaney, Matt Benedetto, um, Ryan Newman, Joey Logano, Corey LaJoy, Kevin Harvick, and Anthony Alfredo. Anyways, that is going to do it for this one, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.